The Vice Science Minister, Ote Siog, spoke to Bloomberg about those plans in an exclusive interview. The space industry is growing at an explosive pace, so from an industrial perspective, we can't ignore it. It's also important for national security as the competition for a share of the space is heating up among nations. All right, let's bring in our Korea economy editor, Sam Kim, in Seoul with the latest. Uh, yeah, so the vice minister did touch on this, Sam, but go into a little more detail, but what, what was the motive behind these sorts of plans? Well, the motive for these plans to develop further the space program for South Korea uh, pretty seem pretty uh, obvious to me because, you know, there's a lot of potential right now uh, to generate a lot of revenue in terms of space programs. You know, there is a lot of uh, rockets that are being built. There is a lot of satellites that need to be manufactured. And Korea wants to jump into the space race because it wants to be part of that huge growing industry uh, which will, you know, Morgan Stanley basically estimates in the next coming decades, uh, the space industry globally will generate hundreds of billions of dollars in revenue. And Korea wants to be ready for that so, so it can benefit a lot economically uh, from those programs. So, Sam, how does South Korea plan to go about space development because it's, uh, it did re revoke its uh, deal with Russia on, on, on rocket launches? Well, we have to sort of view this ambition by South Korea uh, with a bit of skepticism because Korea is at the moment as many as decades behind in terms of being able to fire rockets and put satellites in orbit uh, compared to other countries. But, you know, it, it's trying to double its uh, annual budget in research and development in space programs, in rocket science, um, you know, in, in the coming years. Um, also, it's trying to sort of engineer a boost in terms of the number of engineers that are going to be working in the uh, space industry and also uh, startups. Um, you know, it's, Korea has had a sort of a track record of coming back from behind in terms of technologies like semiconductors and smartphones and displays. Um, although it's kind of behind, you know, there's a lot of potential for Korea to be able to catch up fast like you used to with other types of technology. So that's where it's pinning its hopes on.